Bumblebeezies. Happy Friday, TGIF. I'm so happy that it's Friday. This week honestly dragged. It felt like the longest week ever. Um, so yeah, I'm just happy that it's Friday. It is 8.15 right now, so you guys know. We're gonna make some coffee. Um, we are leaving for vacation tomorrow, and I, I feel like I waited... Well, not I feel like, I did. I waited until today, I don't know why, to do everything. I have so much to do today. Um, I have to do my pedicure, which I actually already started. I just took off my gel polish on my toes. So I just need to like cut, file, clean up, and then paint. Then I need to do my nails. I still need to do a load of laundry and I still need to pack. I need to like pick out my outfits and all of that because I still haven't done that. So we need to do that. And of course, Alfredo has to pack too. We're only checking in one luggage. We're just gonna bring like one big luggage. Everything should fit in there. We will be gone for four nights. We're, we leave tomorrow morning and then we're coming back on Wednesday morning. Well, we leave Wednesday morning, but of course we won't get here right away. We'll be here in the afternoon or something. Early evening. Um, what else? I totally forgot to buy dry shampoo. So as you can see, my hair is not, <laughs> it's looking, and this was like washed yesterday, you guys. Anyways, Vanessa has a bottle of dry shampoo that she said I could have. So I'm going to take that with me because she like barely uses it. And I told her I would just replace it when we get back. Other than that, I have everything that we need because the kids did go to Target the other day and I had them buy me all the things that I needed for the trip. Um, we are going to go to the grocery store tonight because I'm going to buy them more fruit. We're all out of fruit. Well, we have like one apple and like two oranges, but I'm just going to get them like a fruit tray, like watermelon cantaloupe type of fruit tray with grapes or something. Then we need milk. I have like a whole list. <laughs> But they need like fresh groceries, you know what I mean? Like fresh produce. So we're gonna get that for them. And that's pretty much it. Let's make our coffee. We're gonna use this Main Street Electrical Parade mug. Super cute, it has the same design on the other side. Oh my gosh, and today is the first day of the Disney 100 celebration. Like today's like the official day. How exciting, the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is open already and Toontown. I've seen like some pics or like some little snippets of videos. I'm trying like not to see everything because I want to see it for, for the first time in person. But from what I saw, it looks super cute. And we already rode the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway at Disney World, but Alfredo has never been on it. So it'll be his first time riding it. And it's such a cute ride. Hi, Papa there. Say good morning. I was telling them about the new ride that you haven't been on it yet, and it's super cute. The Mickey oh, the, and Minnie. The railroad? Yeah. What's up? Happy Friday, guys. Happy Friday. We're leaving tomorrow. We're already checked into our flight. Everything is ready to go. Yeah, so we're checked into our flight and our hotel. So we are ready.
added on is this rain jacket. <laughs> so yeah, rain jacket is coming. And then I still need to pick out all my outfits. So I'm kind of like trying things on, you know, to see like what I want to bring. I'm definitely going to bring jeans. These black jeans are from Old Navy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to definitely bring these jeans. These jeans, they're more of like a mom jeans. Um, these are super comfortable too, so I'm definitely gonna bring these. I would say we were good together. I would say we had fun. But our trails will never run for. right when I got off of work and then I have the same color on my toes but you guys don't want to see my toes but yeah same color on my toes so now I'm gonna start on dinner tonight's dinner is going to be pot stickers and green beans and if you guys remember I talked about the green beans that I made last week which is like a copycat din tai fung recipe I'm gonna show you guys how to make it today it's honestly like so easy you just need green beans garlic and just like a little bit of salt to season and then you just need a neutral oil i'm using vegetable oil so um these are already like washed and trimmed actually you can of course wash it again and then just i like to just go through them because sometimes they're not trimmed like i'll you i'll sometimes find like a stem on the end or like the little you know the thing on the end so yeah just make sure you trim the green beans like the ends and then of course wash them and you're gonna chop up a lot of garlic so let me go grab the garlic and we'll start chopping you got someone new i know it. yeah but i will keep on and i I go fast, yeah, I go hard Wanna find some peace, so I pray to God To find a way to fix it all
this in this like wide frying pan. You could do it in a wok, um, but I'm just doing it in the f in this wide frying pan. And I put just a little bit of oil at the bottom. Well, I wouldn't say a little bit, but it's it's thin enough. Well, it's enough oil just so that the green bean can be covered in oil. And I'm just gonna do one layer at a time, so it is gonna take me a, you know a lot of batches. But I would rather just like not use up so much oil because I don't want to waste the oil. So yeah, just, this is how I like to do it. So just enough oil to cover the green bean and we're gonna do one layer at a time. So this is what the green beans should look like. I just put it in a single layer. We're gonna fry the green beans until they start to blister and, um, and then they're blistered on like all sides. It'll take a couple of minutes, maybe like two to three minutes. So just keep an eye on them. You don't want to cook, you don't want to overcook them. This is what it should look like. This is what you're looking for. I don't know if you guys can tell how it's like blistered, but you'll see like when you start cooking it, it'll start to blister. Um, also, I forgot to mention, I just have it like on medium. It's like medium high, but like not too high. More closer to like medium. This is the second batch. Also, we're having it with pot stickers, so we have the pot stickers going. Also, when you take it out of the pan, just put it on a plate with some paper towel. I haven't actually been timing how long it takes for it to start blistering, but I want to say it's like longer than two to three minutes, um, just because I don't have it like all the way turned up to high. So when you do it, just make sure you're watching it. It might take like three to four minutes. Okay. So I took out most of the oil. I just left enough oil to fry the garlic or saute the garlic. So I'm going to add the garlic in right now. When you're cooking the garlic, make sure the heat is not too high because you don't want to burn the garlic. Really just, we're just gonna saute this for a couple of minutes. And then we're gonna add all the green beans back in and then season with a little bit of salt to taste. And here's all the green beans that we have. I actually doubled the recipe this time because last time one bag of green beans wasn't enough, so we did two this time. So here's the green beans. Oh my gosh, you guys, these green beans are so good. You have to make them. Also, I didn't mention that once I finished cooking the garlic and I add the green beans in, green beans. Once I add the green beans in, I go ahead and turn off the heat and then just mix, just give it a good toss and season with salt to taste. And that's it. You have the green beans, garlic green beans, so good. And then here are the pot stickers. So that's our dinner for tonight. And of course we have rice.